For many of us, we're finding out how difficult it is to work from home, whether you're a full-time staff or an employee at a job or a co-op trying to work remotely, or you're a student trying to balance all your classes online along with your study sessions and everything else, or even if you're unemployed and trying to stay productive while you're applying to jobs. It can be really difficult to stay productive when you're in such an odd dynamic. So today I wanted to share five tips that I've learned throughout the years when it comes to working remotely and working independently. For those of you who are starting to study in the middle of a pandemic or are working in the middle of a pandemic, your experiences might be a little bit different than me. So if you have any tips or strategies, I really encourage you to share them in the comments and hopefully they'll help someone else watching this video. But let's just jump into it. So the first idea is to bookend your day. And that basically means setting a start time and an end time for your day. For example, you might not have any classes before 10 a.m., but you might start your day at 9 or 9.30 to get yourself ready for the day ahead. That way you're putting yourself in a mindset that says at 9 or 9.30, I'm getting ready to start regardless of what's gonna be coming next. Even if I'm starting class in the next 30 minutes or I'm not starting class for another two or three hours, you're telling yourself, this is when I'm gonna start being productive. And similarly, the bookend at the end of the day is for you to remind yourself, at this period of time, I am done. Unless I have something pressing to do, like a paper that's due tomorrow, anything other than that, this period of time is when I close my laptop and I go do something else. In this case, consistency can go a long way. So starting at a similar hour every day and ending at a similar hour every day is gonna go a really long way for you. Number two is to get away from the computer. When you're not working on something like studying or writing a paper or working on an assignment, it's really important for you to get some distance between your electronics and your workspace. So when you do have a lull period, maybe in between your scheduled classes, or if you manage to carve out some time in your workday, get away from your computer. Go for a walk, go hang out somewhere else in the house, call a friend, do literally anything else, but just create some distance between your workspace and you. That way you're not spending hours upon hours just sitting at your computer. You're adding some variety into your day and you're also, like I said, creating some distance, both for your productivity and also for your mental health. Number three is to schedule social or you time. Now, while we're all physically distancing, it's very easy to fall into the rut of just focusing on your work and forgetting to do something that's good for you. So make sure that you're being proactive about scheduling social time with your friends, even if it's something as simple as a phone call or FaceTime or watching Netflix or playing a video game. And then maybe when the pandemic's over, scheduling chill hangouts, like grabbing a drink at a campus pub or going to see a movie, whatever it is, scheduling time to hang out with your friends and socialize is gonna be really good for you. If you prefer to do your own, thing then scheduling you time is really good as well. The nice thing is that a lot of social things you can do you can also do on your own. For example playing video games or going to grab a bite to eat somewhere or going to watch a movie. Whatever it is you do make sure you're just scheduling that social time or you time. Number four is to use an organized note-taking system. Whether you're taking notes for meetings or taking notes for classes, having a certain structure or a template for how you organize your notes is gonna be really helpful for you when it comes to organizing all your information. The benefit of this template is that when you sit down to study or to go through your notes, it's all organized in a way that you understand. So you don't have to spend time sorting things out. You can just go through the notes and you'll be able to understand things in a much easier way. Now, there are a ton of different variations out there for note-taking systems. Systems. The method I like to use is a sort of a variation on the Cornell method. I'll leave some resources for different note-taking methods, including the Cornell method, but the idea is just to find a style that works best for you. And the final tip is to stretch frequently. This one's a little bit different, but when you're sitting in a computer all day, your hip flexors can tighten up and that can lead to back pain or pain elsewhere in your body. So stretching frequently can be a way to offset that. Now I know stretching isn't gonna solve all of it. The issue is with the fact that you're sitting at the desk all day, but stretching can be a really big help in terms of mitigating things even a little bit. Add that with some couple other strategies like a standing desk or more frequent breaks, and that can be really helpful for taking care of your body. You can do a quick few stretches after getting up to do something and maybe schedule a longer stretch in the morning and a even longer stretch in the evening before you go to bed. I will link a yoga playlist from one of the channels that I typically get my stretching routines from. They're all 10 minutes or less, so you can save this playlist if you want and just pull a video every once in a while to follow along. Okay, those are five quick ideas for working remotely. Now, I cannot imagine how difficult it is for all of you to have to be studying or working in the middle of a global pandemic. So I hope these tips help you even a little bit when it comes to managing all these different things. Before we know it, this will all be over and we'll be back to a much 
healthier and more fun lifestyle. Like I mentioned at the beginning, you might have developed some really helpful strategies or tips when it comes to working remotely, whether it's during school or in a full-time job or whatever. So if you do have any tips or strategies, I encourage you to share them in the comments. Let me know what you think. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Take care.